So I studied this thing and I found out that there were one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I don't like that, there's three and four. But I didn't really appreciate that three and four was seven. <laughs> but uh, I should have been much happier than I was. <laughs> but I noticed that, that really these were divided, this one is just one of these bent. See how it looks bent? So I thought, well, why don't I bend that one too? You know, like if I did that, I had one, two, three, four, five, six. I bet this again, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I thought, okay, well, I'll do that. First seven sided objective perfect size seven sided form. Original ones all on cardboard, it's been through the mill. But my gosh, look at that thing, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> about it because I could move it and I realized that if I move this one I couldn't move that one you can't move it but on the bottom I could and I could make a triangle out of that see there's a triangle there it is I could make a triangle out of that one this one I couldn't I only could make a quadrilateral which is a four so I straightened these out and I took seven cups of plaster of Paris same level and poured them in here. They dried, I put them here, they all dried, and then I put all of them dried together. Because this isn't, this is century. No, it's, it's not, it doesn't have substance, it's like a sculpture. I, I'm interested in the sculpture. And so when I did that, and I put them all together, I got this new form. And there's the quadrilateral, and there's the triangles. And there are seven of them, and this surface, this surface are perfectly equal in surface area. Perfect. This form never been here before. You've never seen this before. This is super sensible. This didn't come from sense. This came before sense. So Rudolf Steiner talks about that. And what he says is that this is a good I'll read this in the in the reversal here. But what I want to tell you here is that this is out of the Christmas conference, which is 1924. Uh, it would be wrong to give the impression of merely wanting to do some research through ordinary science. In the future, we want to put things before the world simply as they emerge from the central core of the possible. We are supposed to present the super sensible to the world. This, of course, is difficult. More difficult than presenting something sense perceptible. But we must succeed, and we will succeed. But please have the courage to present the super sensible. So that is a super sensible form. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So I've got to get on this because of the time. <laughs> All right. So what I did is the earth section. Earth is what's different. That's the first step of alchemy. So I went into here to try to find out what's in the this form. So what I did was I found there was a form inside it. And how did I do that? I just crossed all these corners and got a point. I got the point of this quadrilateral, another one here, I connected them. There's another cool shape in there that's never been around. But I want to know what's inside the green one. So what I did is I did the same thing. This is the green one. And then I put a uh, fishing string between all these little beads here. And there's another form in there. So I made that form. And this is what's inside the seven-sided form. It's a perfect cube. And it's being supported at root two by this little platform. That's a perfect cube in this thing. That's a cube. Would you believe that? There's a cube in here? And you, you can look at this because this is all objective science here. This is not art. So I put it all together, and there they all are together. And inside that cube is an octahedron. And of course, inside the octahedron is another cube. Inside that other cube is another octahedron. 
So it goes on to infinity. And this shows how it does it. That's Earth. Water's next. Water's what's changing. Like, how am I going to change this thing? <laughs> Well, I knew that I could put the form in wire with edges only. This is what it is, edges only. I knew I could put this into soap, and I could blow a bubble in there. I did. I got a seven-sided bubble. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. Right. Cute little guy. <laughs> it all comes curved. Look at that. It all gets curved. All the curves, all the straight lines are gone. This is called minimum surfaces. So every single geometric form is trying to become a sphere. And because the sphere is that minimum surfaces for the area. So everything that gets under tension goes into minimum surfaces. This is minimum surfaces. So there is the edge only. I also made it into points only. So this is edges. Points only, so the points are here, but there's no edges. See that? There's the points are here, so no edges. And of course, this one is surfaces only. So you got surface, edges, points. Okay, so the next thing I figured out after a whole bunch of stuff is that I can change this if I spin it. That's how I can change this geometric form. So I'll spin it. It turns into a bell. <laughs> I made the bell, and I made the, the, this one into lines only. All curves now, right? And if I spin this one, all the curved lines become straight. You know how these are straight now? They're not curved. Look at that. These are reversals. So I made the bell too. <laughs> so this is formative forces come to rest. Can we hear it? What? Can you ring it? It's wax. Oh. <laughs> and it's wax because it's going to go into a foundry and have it cast into bronze. Now it's ready for casting. Well, I haven't had money to do that. <laughs> Okay, that was Earth. Earth is what changed it. So, I changed water. it. Water. 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 Is that? Water. You said water. 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 I'm sorry. Water, right? Mm -hmm. Water. Okay. <laughs> Earth, uh, water. What's different? What's changing? Air is what's reversing. So I reversed it. I turned the bell inside out. 